Welcome back, guys. This is episode, maybe it's five. I think it's five. And today I'm at my old elementary school, probably due to a little procrastination on my end. <laughs> um, I should have edited, should have, nah, you know what? I don't even want to put a judgment on it. But anyways, this is my old tile that I did when I was back in 2011, so I was nine. Um, I just kind of thought this would be a cool place to set up. I think the theme of these past two weeks since my last video has been presence. I mean, that's really a life theme, but uh, it's been pretty prevalent on my mind, at least just from the people I've talked to, mom and dad, as well as um, talking with Will a lot. Just being present. That's the the only thing I, I feel like I can, I really can do. Like it's very easy to be in the in the future, or to think like, oh, what about this or what about that? Like I was in class and my professor was talking about taxes and how all of the things that come with living on your own, and it just kind of was like, that's a lot. It's a lot to process. Like at some point, I'm gonna have to be paying all those bills and stuff. So I was, I was a little rattled for a second, but talked to my parents, and the coolest thing was that they brought up was just being present and trusting that it's all gonna work out. I see it in basketball a lot too, of like where all the anticipation right before the game. If this is the anticipation, this is the game. I spent a lot of time in my career just so engulfed of like, how I was gonna play, how am I gonna play, how am I gonna play? But really that's just, it's just um, effort that's not spent as well as I can. Because if I'm present, I can just constantly choose. And when the game comes along anyway, all I'm gonna do is just trust my result the worry comes from thinking about how am I gonna play or what's gonna happen like we had a scrimmage on Saturday so that was yesterday and I was just thinking a lot about how am I gonna do you know what does it come down to how am I gonna play am I gonna make my shots and just things like that all normal thoughts but I realized that when I stepped on the court I've had those same thoughts since I was, whatever, 10. And now I understand that I have the tools to just see those come in and understand that all I can do is commit to my values in the present. And um, that's really the only place that holds power is, is now. And there's I am statements that I'd say if I felt like anxious or something, I'd say, I am trust. I am trust. And all I have to do is just be trust. That's it. I talked to my buddy Will after the game and he brought up something that was pretty cool and said for an I am statement, it's I am trust or I am responsibility, I am joy, follow it up with I am joy in this moment of power. And that last segment kind of adds, not kind of, it adds a, a statement of how important now is because he was very clear that the only place you can change is now, or the only place you can commit to your values is now, or growth happens now, or trust happens now, it doesn't happen in the future or in the past. And I, I started to add that and the past couple days just start saying I am trust in this moment of power because there's so much power all I have to do is choose and I had a drawing that hopefully I can figure out how to show you you guys the drawing in real time but it was myself and it's like two walls that are just blocking um, me because that's the only thing that matters is this moment. And then there's like little hashes to the opposite sides of those lines of little moments where I find myself going back to and 
potentially living in or being scared of the future, or living in a thought, past thought. But I realized that this visual makes it very concise and it's like, okay, this is now, this is the power of now. And change happens now, so in this moment, or I am trust in this moment of power. And when I had our scrimmage, I'm sorry, I said it was yesterday, but it was actually on Friday. It was, it was cool because I felt like thoughts of angst and fear and wanting to just know the result already. But then that takes the adventure out of everything. And I felt very comfortable in choosing and knowing that I could choose and that the reflection of my life was how I chose. So, presence, presence. presence and it's not the I mean it's not the easiest task in the world by any means I feel like there's always things that are trying to just take pull me away pull me away pull me away from now but now is all I have the future in theory doesn't really exist nor does the past is doesn't really I mean it might exist but it's not now so done so I drew a picture to help me help me see a visual of what I want to encompass and embody I drew a picture this is a picture even though I spelled um, OKC wrong it's supposed to be Oklahoma City Thunder abbreviation OKC but I did O-C-K. Not an English major, I guess. 